But we can't rest on our laurels. We have to continually improve. And there is a uh, very robust improvement process which looks and is based on uh, user and claimant feedback uh, and uh, looks at the assessment, um, but also record keeping and a whole raft of other areas. I'm in that claim, Mr. Speaker, sir. My constituent, Leila Kennedy, lives with dwarfism. Her mobility car was removed from her after a PIP assessment. She had to use public transport, was unable to use that public transport, and lost her job as a result. Does the minister really think that government policy is delivering compassionate outcomes in these cases? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope the honourable gentleman with, would write to me with further details of that case. What I would say to him is that under PIP, more people are entitled to use the motability scheme. Um, but clearly, we want to make sure that any decision that is taken on a PIP assessment is the right one. And a key part of that, as we know, when we've looked at those cases which have gone to appeal and been overturned, is getting the evidence submitted earlier in the process.